Hey Mark, this is a demo video for your Luke that you have uh, been patiently waiting for. Sorry I accidentally sent this back to you, but thanks for sending it back to me. I'm glad that USPS finally found it. So let's get into it. This is a gold wing, so you do have a crystal chamber right here. And uh, this crystal chamber has a magnet on each door right here in the corner. That's what keeps it locked in. So that one you can just pull it open a little bit and then when you go to close it, if it doesn't close all the way like that, you just push it and it will stay closed. So I did custom make this crystal chamber that I, I do that. It's a real quartz crystal in there. It's got the mechanics mesh in the back. Um, I hand machined all those rods. They're brass rods. Uh, hand machined those with a Dremel and a um, <clears throat> hand drill. <laughs> bent them with a torch um, i modeled my chassis to incorporate that crystal chamber so it's all one piece so that's what we've got in there um, to get to your board you're going to want to take this off and i'll show you right now so we'll take this end cap off just like that speaker might stick to that it's magnetic but I made this speaker to where it, it sits in its own housing but it does slide out um, with enough wire to come off and hang out to the side and then um, hopefully in the light you can see your board right there and uh, you can just get in there with your finger and pop your board in and out actually with this control box down like that that's your board um, sitting on top so hopefully you can see that so I got my finger about that far in there and I'm touching the board so I can just click the board in and out a pair of tweezers um, that's in the easiest way to get to the board on this guy and then when you're done um, you kind of come back here sometimes I like to twist these uh, twist these wires up just a hair you don't have to but you twist them up a hair they get they get start getting curly nice and tidy put your speaker in there push it down all the way and then it sits right there and then from there you can just take your pommel cap and throw it on just like that now <clears throat> is this static battery your battery sits right here um, this control box comes off so what I did on this go around is I put your recharge port right here I did a lot of drilling and modifying in this box so that I could fit this recharge port here. Uh, it barely fits, but it does fit. And in earlier versions of the Gold Wing that I did, I had it back here, but you couldn't get to your board. So swap that around a little bit. Um, this is what I was talking to you about earlier with the kill key. It is almost flush with the lip of this chat, uh, with this uh, recharge port. So a uh, small pair of needle nose pliers will get in there and pull it out. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I do have your circuit card in here. It is JB welded in, so it doesn't come out. Um, everything in there is pretty tight. I don't know if you can see in there all the wires. Everything is directly behind the chassis. So a majority of the wiring took place back here. And then, uh, you know, then I slapped this on last. And then I got your stock NeoPixels in there. So we're going to get in here and pull this recharge port. Um, you can see the hole in the middle, so just one pair of your needle nose will go in there and you can twist it, it comes right out. Like I said, I'll send you uh, four extra kill keys too, so if you don't like how this is doing, you can experiment with a few. But your back button closest to your end cap is your activation. These are the stock fonts on the CFX, so not all of them are smooth swing, but I know you're going to get in here and do your thing. We'll pop this open. And then your front, of course, is your auxiliary. And you can see your crystal changing colors. To mimic, to mimic your blade.
Oh, it came out really nice. Um, this is a, one of the more challenging hilts for me that there is out there just because of having to uh, get this guy right, having to um, you know make this look good enough and then have enough room behind it for all the wiring. Um, you know, but it comes out really nice. I'm super happy with it. I hope you are too. Let me get a blade for you real quick. This guy. We'll slap a blade in here real quick so that you can see that not only the uh, LEDs work, but everything works. So before I do that though, I'll let you know when you're gonna put your blade in, you're gonna wanna take this emitter cap off. So hold on the brass piece right here, or the copper piece, because you don't want that coming loose. Um, this screws off right here, just like that. And then there are two spots with a set screw. You actually have a set screw in right here, and then there's another spot over here for one. It just doesn't have one. Um, I found that you don't really need to, but it's there if you need it. I do have a low profile holder in there, so you got a pretty decent amount of space in there for a blade, your holder for your stock is probably a you know, quarter of an inch. So we'll slap this in here just real quick. I gotta loosen that set screw up. Back it out, put your blade in. Tighten up your set screw. Then once your set screw is tight, you want to take your emitter and slide it over your blade. Just like that. And then twist it on. Take this, uh, take your kill key when you're ready to turn it off and shove it in there. Pretty much flush. And then this, um, I did have to do a lot of modifications to the underside of this guy too to make it fit on here um, because it just wasn't made to have a recharge port in that area. There's a lot of stuff going on in there, but I think for this, the amount of space that was in there and for everything, uh, it worked out pretty well. So, also. You know, just do everything in reverse, obviously, to get your blade off. Take that off. Pop that guy out. Now I like to put the set screw back in the chamber when you're not using it, just so that it doesn't interfere with putting this back on. This is one of the only hilts out there where you have to do it like that. But anyway, sir, that is your hilt. Uh, get your tracking number in a bit. Thanks.